Climate change occurs due to the increased levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by the use of fossil fuels and the addition of nitrogen oxide from the nitrogen cycle. Forestry, crop farming and dairy farming all have huge implications on the climate change. Whether it is influencing climate change or climate change influencing the primary industries, there is a negative influence. That is why it is important that we take care of what we do, as primary industries tend to have a poor influence on climate change when poor practices occur. Cropping is a very important part of our future. If it wasn't for cropping, we would have nothing to eat. In your fridge most likely comes from cropping. What if that food was unable to be produced due to the problem with nitrogen cycle? Nitrogen is being put, put onto the paddocks to make the plants grow bigger and stronger and more food. With this addition to the cycle, we, we add threats to the environment. There is 78% nitrogen in the atmosphere. If there is an addition of nitrogen to the soil here through fertilisers, what this means is the cycle will be altered. More nitrogen affects global warming. This here is a nitrogen powerhouse. Increasing temperatures may influence plant growth, but it will affect where the plant can grow in the future. Forestry is a very important part of our everyday lives, whether it be our homes, our fuel, or our recreational needs. That is why it is so important that we care for this natural resource. Overuse of it leads to climate change. Exporting it between countries that are not able to grow a certain type of wood leads to CO2 emissions due to the burning of fuel for transport. With more and more trees being cut down, there is less CO2 being absorbed through photosynthesis to produce oxygen. Oxygen is beneficial for the environment and without CO2 being absorbed through trees, global warming occurs. Deforestation occurs due to cutting trees down. This is a plausible option only if it is replenished. If it is cut down and turned into farmland, the amount of CO2 absorbed decreases. These factors all lead to climate change. Dairy exports to New Zealand are around $13 billion, making New Zealand's biggest export industry. Milk production on a dairy farm starts with the pasture. Climate change can have a negative effect on the grass growing ability. Increased temperature from the sun. Lack of precipitation can have a negative effect on the grass growing. These factors that may limit grass growth will later in turn have a negative effect on the production of milk. On the other hand, Climate change can be influenced by agriculture. When nitrogen fertilizer is added to the pasture, it increases the amount of nitrous oxide that can be emitted into the atmosphere, causing concentrations to rise, ultimately leading to climate change through the greenhouse effect. As seen from the three examples, these primary industries can be both affected and affect the impacts of climate change globally. As a nation, we need to take action and limit additions to the greenhouse effect, ensuring our vital primary industries continue into the future.